Oh, right, this side. Uh, this this thing. These guys. <laughs> Have fun gathering up what you need for this. Great. <laughs> I've got a lot of Tachibana real estate. I wasn't expecting a sweet little year-end bonus. This calls for a toast, fellas. Can you guys beat my high score of three flips before we get in the barrel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we deserve it for... Uh, bleh, bleh. It's fine. I'll quadruple the bet, <laughs> he says. Five flips minimum. This barrel's gonna burn all night, says Kiryu, watching on. <laughs> <laughs> they just jump in there, it's still on fire. <laughs> I mean, they gotta get their fuel some somehow. Hey, Kiryu, uh, Kazuma-san, we already know who you are, and also we'll tell you what you want to know if you get us a springboard for this barrel. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I could find a springboard somewhere. What's a pool, says Kiryu. <laughs> What's a pool? <laughs> well, I didn't mention pools, so you already know what it is, says the guy. <laughs> Could you stop bullshitting me and get that springboard? <laughs> now, where is the nearest pool? <laughs> Probably on the top of a building somewhere, owned by like a millionaire. <laughs> I guess I'll just I walk. A billionaire, most people are millionaires right now. <laughs> I, I guess I'll just walk up to the nearest building and see if I can see one. Yeah, most of us are millionaires, says one of the homeless persons. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing. Uh, throwing like five hundred thousand dollars into the barrel. <laughs> yeah, gotta get that fire burning. <laughs> wow, there's both a snack and a pub back there. <laughs> We're all millionaires here. It's the snack pub. <laughs> uh, it's called pub snack. Get it right, so scary. <laughs> Offended, but only mildly. Not just he has to keep that tempered. If he gets too offended, he'll just obliterate everyone around him in like a <laughs> radius. This park used to be a skyscraper, but I got really offended one day, so scare you. <laughs> I, I walked a little bit too close to this building, and my my health bar just like just like went right through the walls. <laughs> I did that thing where you sear your upper lip and just the building would <laughs> <laughs> It just crumbled immediately into dust. Oops. They really shouldn't have put that ad up on the side of it. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but it was like gross. Okay, so I need to get uh beer uh sake. And this jerk with the champagne. Whiskey, scotch, sweet potato shochu. Doesn't sound sweet potato. No, not a fan of sweet potato. Oh, friendship went up. You seem a little tense. I, I just started working here, so... I guess it takes a while to get used to it and learn about all the different products. Well, good luck. Hey there, friend, says Kiryu. Thank you. <laughs> You're much kinder than you look. What is that supposed to mean? I am. What kind of look do I have then? Well, the the you look like somebody who has a steely gaze and a voice like breast <laughs> knuckles. American taste food. American taste food. I just read that they have it twice. <laughs> American t is that what it's called? I love American taste food. Can I get your number one American taste food, please? They've got it three times, actually. I see a coffee which is not American and a hamburger <laughs> which is not American, but it's been adopted it's, by America. Yeah, it's 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 like the American uh, food. So oh, they got it four America times, took actually. It in. <laughs> oh my god! We want to make sure you know that we have American <laughs> taste food here. Have you ever tasted the food of America? Mm. Well, welcome to American taste food. I have tasted number the one food. Of, shop. I have tasted the food of America, actually. I've tasted all of America, says Kiryu. <laughs> I ate it. <laughs> Every square inch. That's why the economy is so good right now. I hate America. <laughs> we just replaced it. <laughs> they had to build a new one. They're growing right now. So long as I get back there within ah. the next few years and nothing happens that just takes up my attention, we'll stay dominant. <laughs> Oops, that's why the bubble popped. Kiryu couldn't get there in time. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> Whoopsie poopsie. So we got two of the drinks. Uh... So the four that I remember is sake, beer, a champagne, and I think a sweet potato shoshu? Yeah, I got the sweet potato thing and the beer. I need scotch. I think it's shoshu, right? Yeah. S-H-O-C-H-U or something? Yeah, something like that. Is. Some kind of whiskey, I think, right? Is it? I don't know. I got it in my inventory. Whatever it shoshu. is. Shoshu, yeah. Sweet potato shoshu that's... No, I guess it's, you're just looking for a whiskey, maybe? Sweet potato. Uh, Not a fan of sweet potato. 
in general. I used to gag eating sweet potatoes when I was a kid. Nowadays, I'm fine with it. I've had it in, like, just vegetable bakes before, just a pan of baked vegetables with something else. I just kind of like don't really like sweeter vegetables in general. That's because you have terrible taste. You don't even like pineapple on pizza. What a freak. <laughs> you already point laugh at time, unless you disagree with me, in which case, point laugh yourself. <laughs> I have a refined palate where I can enjoy all five tastes. Oh, wow, they have tastes. Sweet, <laughs> sour, salty, savory, and umami, I think it is, right? Oh, wow, they have American taste food here, too. It's real popular in the 80s. They're taking it over. <laughs> Just wait till we open up that Smile Burger, kid. Oh, I love the Smile Burger. Smile Burger's open right now, isn't it? You, I heard you can get a free smile there. Yeah, and the employees hate it. <laughs> I bet they do. I'd hate it. Imagine working a fast food job and somebody walks in and says, give me a free smile, and you have to pretend to smile at them. Yeah. It would That's degrading as hell. That would suck. It would suck. Just awful. Just uh, buy one of those overly sized novelty sunglasses. Okay, bye. Not having to... I was lagging behind, so I didn't <laughs> realize you'd left yet. I just stopped smiling eventually yeah. when I was working my regular job. I just stopped caring. Yeah. It's like if somebody has a problem with the weather, you complain that I wasn't smiling. Get over it. <laughs> I don't f know you. I don't have a second job pretending that I like you. Get over it. Uh, how dare you not smile at me, the customer. The customer is always right. You got a lot of nerve not smiling at me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Taxi. I'd like one roundabout trip for Camarocho, <laughs> just for fun. Just take me around. I want to see the sights, even though I live here. <laughs> I need a few minutes to think, says Kiryu. <laughs> and it's, he starts, he's riding in, it just like shows him looking out the window, just slowly you hear judgment playing through his, <laughs> he's just, <laughs> just the music video just takes over, just fades in. <laughs> that's what he had to think about. <laughs> Man, that's a good song, he says, getting out of the taxi. You know you can just, like, get a Walkman and listen to that song whenever you want, Kiryu. The f*** is a Walkman? <laughs> Wait, you're saying I could listen to music while walking around? That's impossible, says Kiryu. It, th this is the... It's the 80s. We can do anything we want. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware, sir, but it's the 80s. <laughs> We're currently living in the 80s where they've invented this technology. <laughs> Just wait till they invent MP3 players, kid. Yeah. Heck is an MP3, says Kiryu. <laughs> we have, they haven't been invented yet, but just wait. Yo, buy that tiny, personal-sized bottle of Mountain Dew. Brought to you by Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh yeah, the Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's 7-Up too. It's a refreshing citrus taste and provides a satisfying shot of energy. If you say so, <laughs> I'm going to have to so. disagree with you when it comes to satisfying. <laughs> tastes like sugar condensed into a sugar drink. Ooh. It tastes like they took a sugar drink and added more sugar to it, actually. Yeah. You ever see that comparison where they have the Ziploc bags with sugar with how much is in each can? <laughs> And like Mountain Dew is fing bursting. And it's like ridiculous. It's too much sugar. It just tastes like sugar. Yeah, I like it, drink it, and it feels like my teeth are dissolving. It's like, oh my god, it's too much. Do you have the scotch whiskey? Please, does somebody have the squat scotch whiskey? There we go. Can somebody get the squash whiskey? The squash, yeah. Can can I pay you to keep a microwave like on tap in here just in case? <laughs> just just a microwave. Just in case. They might have a case things get rowdy just outside of the building. <laughs> I think I do. Which park was it? Where was it? It's, it's that there. big purple that's right, pink that's right. pulsating spot right there. I kiddo. keep missing that on the map for some reason now. Public Park 3 is the one across the street from the heckin the bar that you should stop and look at the sign for so I can remember what it's called. <laughs> oh, hopefully, assuming something kanji. I, I mean, I suppose I could do that right now when I go there. That's what I was saying. It's right there. It's right there. Oh, where? You're passing it. This? No, the stair. See that alleyway next to you? To the le to the right? Oh, right here? That leads around the back, so that elevator that you're looking at in front of that big neon sign is the elevator leading up to it. This one? Yes. Serena, thank you. Yeah, that's right. The... The one that's actually important. <laughs> Learn the lore, kid. <laughs> That's why the sign's over the elevator, because that's the only building that's important. But you there. said across from the park, so I thought you meant over here. No. Oh, hold that's on, guys. That's a mini-game. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like this <laughs> this barrel fire is burning bright tonight. Can I actually do anything with this? I don't think so. No. No. It's not going to work, kid. Nah. What do you think he's going to do? Like, just dunk that guy's <laughs> head in there? 
I mean, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the most violent thing Kiryu's ever done is. The big, the big power bomb directly onto their head uh, in beast mode is pretty violent. That's pretty rough. That would definitely kill somebody. <laughs> Uh, that... Also, he'll just stab a mother in the chest with a katana. That's true. <laughs> There's that shooting section later in this game. <laughs> Isn't there like a one handed knife where he'll just stab the shit out of somebody, too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> God, Kiryu, it's just a game. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your beer. Oh, perfect. Why is that empty and why is your mouth all over it right now? <laughs> There's. Uh... I got thirsty. I had to fight like a gang of boys on my way over. There's the heat move you do with the box of nails where you just grab a handful of them and like shove them in their face. I think that's not as bad as getting stabbed in the chest with a katana. Though. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I think the like curved Chinese sword one was also pretty. Sake! <laughs> Sake! <laughs> with curves, isn't it the same as the katana? Is it the same as the katana? I'm not sure. We'll get a curved Chinese sword. Uh, uh, what's it called? I don't, I don't know even called. know where to find those, even. I don't even know if they're in this game. I think they are. I think they're... They're in this first... In the they're in Kwame 1. I know that for sure, because there's that one dude. Yeah. I think you can get them from uh, Majima's weapon guy, maybe? Oh, probably, yeah. That's Majima, though. That's not Kiryu. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, no, he expand. Well, no, that's Kiwami one. He does that. Never mind. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I maybe. think. Or does he expand in this one? I don't remember. <laughs> he expands in this one because he goes to where the Millennium Tower eventually gets built. Yeah, that's right. Remember, you go there like halfway through the game and he's like, hey, we're expanding. Yeah, that's right. Spoilers. There's going to be a building called Millennium Tower. I don't know if you know about this. <laughs> and if also you didn't, then wow, this is your first day knowing that Yakuza is a game series. <laughs> and also a weapon store. <laughs> My tongue's loose and limbered up, mother hacker. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, Kiryu says, blushing. <laughs> I'll be back later once you get yourself under control. <laughs> yeah, I want to know about Tachibana. Well, it all starts off at about 7 a.m. when I clock in, then I sit in front of a building until about 9 p.m. It's really easy, actually. 9 p.m., that's a long-ass <laughs> shift. Oh, my God. Well, I'm homeless. I have nothing else to do. <laughs> it's a little boring, but, you know, it, it's money. He pays pretty well, and, I mean, slowly but surely, I'm going to stop being homeless. <laughs> He's really nice about it, actually. He shows up with, like, little packages of, like, snacks and stuff. I get health insurance and dental. Every day. <laughs> Whenever I clock in, he gives me a bottle of water. It's like a big liter bottle, too. Like, it lasts me all day. <laughs> Some snack cakes, a bag of peanuts. He's like, we gotta get that protein in. And I'm like, you're right. You're right, Tachibana san Hey, he really looks looks out for his employees. <laughs> we don't get paid much, but we do have a bitch in healthcare program. <laughs> you're in Japan, we're talking about healthcare program. He's like, you're right, never mind. <laughs> Man, you're real drunk. <laughs> yeah, he had one, uh... A bottle of shoshu or whatever it was. I had one. Well, I mean, a whole oh, bottle would be a lot of alcohol. I, I had like one can of beer and I started imagining things like health care programs. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I'm not in America for a second. <laughs> Just for a second. I don't know what kind of health care they have in Japan. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm, not I'm assuming sure. they have. <laughs> I mean, most places are better than America. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> The Tojo clans have been going after those properties as well, my friend. I'm not a Yakuza, if a Yakuza type. Like you, waltzes in there like a walrus, something, whatever he said. <laughs> I see, thank you. He says, cutting him halfway through the sentence. <laughs> I've learned all I need to know. Something, something Yakuza type, something, something walrus. Thank you. <laughs> That's a thing walruses do, right? Waltz? <laughs> That side quest, that's right. Ah. That you, boy? It is, yeah. isn't it? Over here. That's mm -hmm. right. Hi, Bacchus. Hey. I'm ranting this a lot. <laughs> Perfect timing. There's something I need to talk to you about. I'll wait for you back there. Have you seen this vending machine back here? Come check it out, seriously. 
<laughs> Watch out for knives in the ribs, though. This is an alleyway. You're especially in danger here. Yeah, but I mean, the risk is this alleyway is the only alleyway that might have this particular vending machine, kid. Uh, Bacchus, we're the only two here. Who am I in danger for? Um, Check out this vending machine. It's so sticky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ew, Bacchus. Books and video. <laughs> I can't wait to have a really weird side quest with this vending machine later. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, time. <laughs> We're on your way somewhere, boy. Sorry to hold uh, you up. Yeah. Boy. 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 <laughs> he just switches to a Kratos voice. Boy. Ribs. Knife. Get ye hence. <laughs> Get ye hence. Get yes. <laughs> That's what he pulled me into the alleyway to say. <laughs> Boy, ribs, <laughs> get yes. Ribs, a knife, get me get yes. <laughs> What's with the hesitation? That's not like you. Ah. Truth is, I've got debt collectors on my tail. You really? Boy, <laughs> knife, ribs. <laughs> Boy, knife, ribs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gather. You've been running since we met. No, no, no. Those two-bit jokers are nickel and dime stuff. I'm talking tunas. Famous. Tunas? And I mean that in yeah, the Yeah, those are big sense. fish, kid. <laughs> now they're tunas here in are ginormous, you kidding they, me? They are quite large, yes. The little can you get is very deceptive. That comes from, like, one fish, and they make, like, a 500 bazillion cans out of it. But that fish crazy. is probably bigger than you are. It's also worth a crap load of money. <laughs> Hold on. Did you seriously try to escape your mountain of debt by fleeing to Japan? Yes, and this time there may be no going back. I think there's a price on my head. So I guess it's too late to pay the money back then. What are you going to do, Bacchus? So you just already knew how to speak Japanese before deciding to flee here? Hey, he's a man of the world, Bacchus. He's been everywhere. No, it took me like a month to learn it. <laughs> are you sure you should be training fighters? Shouldn't you be like working for NASA or something, Bacchus? <laughs> I just used my brain and I learned the language. It was really easy. I don't get what, why people have difficulty with it. It's right here. He says taking off his bowler hat and just a pulsating brain underneath it. <laughs> it just like sticks out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Bacchus. I wish you hadn't shown me this. <laughs> You'd probably be in worse danger with me around. Would you at this point? I don't think so. All we're doing is like looking for Tachibana guys. <laughs> At this particular moment, I guess he doesn't have any protection, but also nobody's actively searching for him. Yeah, he's pretty safe from knives Yet. in the ribs. Specifically. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I mean, there's always a threat of knife in the ribs. Yes. <laughs> anybody, yes. anybody could have a knife for your ribs, Kiryu. Even I could. They'll do you right in a tight fight, my boy. Right? <laughs> hmm. Damn, DJ Bacchus, those are some sick bars you just laid down. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Bacchus? How did you find me here? Well, I heard you keep saying I have ah. a bounty on my head. I have a bounty on my head. <laughs> so I turned the count the corner. I was like, man, maybe this guy's a bounty on his head. <laughs> it just just uh, happened to hear overhear you talking about the bounty on your head. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't talk about that so loudly next time. Quit it, you dork. <laughs> Stop talking about your bounty, says the bounty hunter. God, and he turns <laughs> on and leaves. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, thanks for the advice. See ya. I'm off to find my true bounty, Mr. Shakedown. <laughs> oh, good. The next time you find Mr. Shakedown, he has like an empty, <laughs> bone-filled bucket of chicken. <laughs> He's wearing that guy's sunglasses. <laughs> 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 You're protecting this guy for now. I don't especially feel like watching him die. I see. Fine. There may not be a price on your head, but if I see, I can. But I'll see if I can swing a bonus afterward. Hey, hey I killed this other random unrelated guy. Can I get like some money for that one too? It's fine, don't worry about it. He did look kind of cool. Way ahead of you. My fingers are tingling. My fist is aching. Guess I'll just kick the shit out of this guy to itch that itch. He does have a gun. Like. <laughs> You didn't kill him, did you? No, he's fine. Look, it's OK. Just as just his stomach is hurt. He was like, why do you care? He's like, well, I put up that bounty. And it's like, there's a lot of I, I can't. I'm going to have to pay for these guys. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Does he have a bounty? Can I get a bounty for this guy? No, Kiryu, I put the bounty on myself so that they would come <laughs> fight me so that you would fight them and I could train you. 
And Kiryu's like, hmm, how high of a bounty did you set on yourself, by the way? Kiryu's like, I'm not drunk enough to understand your logic. <laughs> you think I'm the only one after this guy? What? There will be others on his trail soon enough. He'll this get take a coming. long time getting through this game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long game. It's a long game. <laughs> Sorry, boy. Why the apology? I told you to watch out for a knife in your ribs. Yet here I am putting you in danger myself. Knife ribs boy. N knife ribs boy. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'd hear I'd rather hear more hear more about the offer you made earlier. <gasps> what? Hey. You said you'd teach me some new moves. Better make it quick though, before the next hitman gets here. You sure about this boy? Why do you know how to fight so good, Bogus? Why can't you defend yourself? Okay, I guess I'll show you the freebie move, and then he walks with Juke, the vending machine. He's like, okay, so if you hit it like this, you'll get a free magazine. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> not what I was expecting, Bacchus. All debts paid, though, Bacchus. This is Kiryu. <laughs> then I'll let you fill me in on some moves that'll send those... Then let me fill you in on some moves that'll send those hitmen reeling. Bacchus, let if me you fill know, you in. If you know how to do all of this, why why do you need me to defend you? I'm old. My hands are really frail. Hey, bye. <laughs> hey, bye. Hey, bye. <laughs> yeah, I'll learn a move. Oh, Sorry. Bye. This is called the choke him out with my scarf technique. <laughs> I haven't upgraded my abilities let enough. Oh, well. I guess I guess I'll just go continue the main story instead. I guess I'll have to just keep eating a few million dollars. I guess I can stop in for a smile burger. That's not a burger at all. That looks like a very terrible sandwich, actually. I don't know if there's some mayo on that and some decent cheese, I'd eat it. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'd just take like chunks off, just eat it like individually, like three different sandwiches. Yeah, I suppose. Get the party pack of ham and cheeses. <laughs> the party pack. I'd like one, I'd like one ham and cheese tower, please. We'll just be for here to go. A free smile. <laughs> Can I have a free smile? She's like, oh, oh, I hate you. Uh. You hear a droopy sound and you see a debuff <laughs> activate on her. <laughs> <laughs> then when you order food, you get like food poisoning from it. <laughs> the smile burger. Get that teriyaki burger, kid. Teriyaki burger does sound pretty good. I need a teriyaki smile burger set right now. <laughs> Tuna I'd burger. eat any of these right now, honestly. Tuna sounds a little weird. For a burger. I'll take your super giant sized King Smile burger so it could be about the size of a regular hamburger from <laughs> McDonald's here in America. Smile shake. Gotta have that smile shake. I'd like to order smile shake with a smile uh, shimmy and a side of free smile, please. <laughs> uh, I can't order both. Unfortunate. You don't have bottomless stomach yet. Don't have that bottom bottomless stomach yet. Oh. This is great. Yum. A small size that? meal that's like a large <laughs> over in anywhere that is in America. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, see ya. That was delicious. Thank you for the full day's worth of food. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't come back here and have three of those meals in one sitting. <laughs> I definitely won't order the entire menu at once later. I used to order way too much from McDonald's oh, back yeah. when I used to go there like several times a week. <laughs> I'd go, I'd get off of work like really late, right? And everywhere else was closed. The only places that were open were like three different fast food restaurants that I would circle through on my way home to get food. It was McDonald's, Arby's, and uh, Taco Bell. I have not had So you can Arby's. imagine how bad that'd be for me, right? When yeah, <laughs> oh, you. Uh. Hello, Officer Dane. Can I, can I just like pile drive this guy, this dork through the floor first instead? Uh, Walk up and while he's doing his talking animation, just pick him up and like flip him under, flip him upside down, <laughs> just put him like a manhole. Just to balance him on his head and then walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Once you finish your dialogue, you're gonna crumple and it's really funny. <laughs> he's stuck in the animation loop. <laughs> but like explosions, I will not look back to see it, Siskiryu. <laughs> Too cool. If only I had Too some cool. sunglasses. The number two cool. I'm in a hurry here. By the way, the building you're next to will never be important. Yeah, never, ever, 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 ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. Well, we've had some trouble around these parts lately. Just to be sure, would you mind if I checked your belongings? No, actually. Do you have a fucking warrant, kid? <laughs> yeah. Did I commit a crime? If the answer is no, then fuck off, pig. 
No, he's just here abusing his power because uh, it makes him feel better about himself. Just f no, you can't check my pockets. <laughs> Give me a reason why. F off. Uh, well, people are dangerous here, so I got to make sure you don't have anything that's dangerous. I'm sorry, did people being dangerous here waive my rights as an individual? Yes. The answer is no. <laughs> Uh, I feel like Kiryu would have much harsher words for a cop trying to search his pockets for no reason, yeah, given that he was a Yakuza, especially a young Yakuza right now. Instead of just being like, whatever. I guess I'll just let you check my energy drink stockpile. I'm only doing this because it's all I'm good Fine, for. Fine, hold on, let me get this Let me get this miniature fridge off my shoulders so you can see all the stamina on Royals <laughs> I've been buying. He just got this strapped to his back. <laughs> How are you powering that, Kiryu? Uh, muscles. I burn calories for not only my muscles, but also my miniature fridge. It's just plugged That's in. That's why I'm always stopping off at Conroy, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get that protein. You gotta burn a lot of calories to generate this much power. You see, I have an exoskeleton linked up with my legs. Every time I take a step, it burns <laughs> some energy for the mini fridge. <laughs> Wow, that's really advanced for the 80s, says the cop in the 80s. <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> that's really advanced in this current era. <laughs> <laughs> all I do all day long is harass people about what belongings they have. I'm a great cop. I used to harass the meters, but they said that I was harassing <laughs> the meters too much, so now I harass random people next to this never important building. <laughs> Can you believe it? They stationed me next to the least important building in history that will never have any kind of significance. Also, we're friends now. Mwah. In all of Kamurocho, <laughs> this building is the least important one. Weird, huh? This building will never be a thing. That still looks like you're supposed to interact with that red triangle on the window. Yeah. Every single time I see it. <laughs> it looks like it's a pickup or an interactable thing. Look at how completely uninteresting this building is. This building will never be important, guys. 